Hello everyone! Welcome to the Brady Workstation Data Automation Tutorial. We are going to configure or set up automation for your system in just five easy steps. But first, you'll need to prepare the following. A label mark pre-created template, a folder to store your SAP ERP system or any third-party system output, and a sample file. Let's take a look at how your workstation looks. This is what you'll see as you open your data automation workstation. On the left side of this workstation, you'll see the print channels. Under this, there are unnamed or unconfigured channels. You might be wondering what a channel is. A channel is a combination of a folder where the CSV file is saved, which is monitored for incoming files, a template, which we will use to print, a mapping between fields and data in the CSV file, and a designated printer. In other words, we need to configure a channel in order to print a label. We do this by clicking on New Channel and changing its name. For example, let's use Demo Channel. You may use other names that you can easily recognize. Now let's begin. Your first step is to define the location that will watch for incoming files or the watch folder. This is also the folder where the system is going to put all of the files into. You may name the folder according to what you prefer. In our example here, we'll name the folder with watch folder. In this step, you'll also set which files the system is going to look for. Like setting .txt would look for incoming txt files. During this step, you can also determine what happens to the file once it is processed. You may either delete or transfer it. Let's now move on to step two. In this step, you can select the template that you're going to use. A browse window opens for you to do this. For example, we'll use the label mark six template. Now on to step three. Here is when you fill out the fields in your label which is called Mapping Fields. To choose the file you're going to use, click on Browse. For this example, I created a sample TXT file named Sample Output from ERP. I'll select that file. During this step, you can also configure if your file will have headers. Don't forget to indicate which delimiter you're going to use for your label. For our example here, we'll choose the comma. Now, when you see the proper columns, you can assign the field by selecting the correct values from the drop-down box. In our example here, you can see that the columns are now labeled product name, description, reference number, and barcode serial number. Now, we'll match the field to the template. For example, let's match product code from the template field to the data column with product name from the drop-down option, and so on. Remember that whatever you fill out here will be reflected in the labels that you create. Now we head to step four, setting up the printer. Here, you need to determine which printer your system is going to use. Select one from the drop-down list. Let's select BBP12. Keep in mind that the driver needs to be installed on the machine using Brady Workstation Data Automation before you can select it. It might take a while before you can choose a printer if you have a lot of them installed. After doing all of the previous steps, you can now proceed to step 5, which is to start the channel and initiate printing. You simply do this by clicking the Start Channel button. Those are the five easy steps to follow in order to set up your automation system. You are now ready to print labels using Brady Workstation Data Automation.